What's up, TTC? Josh back here, man. This is my coming with you with another video. Uh, still is already, as we know, clinching number three. We got the Browns last week of the last game of the year. Really don't matter. But first off, uh, one of our own on here. Uh, good dude. Always comments on my videos. Always shows me support. Uh, fan uh, 1.0, uh, I know you're going through a difficult time right now, man. I just want to give a shout out, a special shout out to you, uh, for me and the rest of Stiller Nation, uh, for what you're going through right now, homie. Secondly, this. This guy. This man. Fuck you. What's wrong? All right. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Terry Bradshaw. Um, let's just get into it right now. Okay, we know the comments that Terry Bradshaw has made about Mike Tomlin. Um, you know, I love all the Steelers, but I just feel like the comments that Bradshaw made, for one, um, if you look at stats and facts, for one, have already been, have been proven to be untrue. Um, it has been proven to be untrue. Uh, I don't know if Bradshaw's bitter, but the way Bradshaw went about this situation was uh, something that a bitch motherfucker would do. If you had that feelings for Mike Tomlin, one, you shouldn't have got on, uh, you know, what was it, a radio show? I don't remember what it was. And bash the man. Uh, grow a set of nuts, bruh, and address Tomlin on how you feel behind closed doors. That's not how the Steelers organization rolls, man. We don't sit here and gossip like a bunch of bitches uh, behind people's backs. Uh, I think Tomlin's a good coach. I have my times where I don't agree with what Tomlin does, but guess what? He coaches my team, and I'm going to fucking support him till the end, till he's no longer here. That's just how I am. I mean, there's not many, many more coaches in the history of the league that have won as many games that Tomlin has in the first 10 seasons in the league, it's there. The stats, the proof, it's there. Terry Bradshaw's uh, comments were very, very unprofessional. Uh, they were bitch made, in my opinion. Uh, and it's something that a hoe would do. That's just, just my opinion. Um, but that's all. I just wanted to address that as well. Uh, you know, I don't know if Bradshaw's bitter. He's got the shingles again or what uh, a lot of people have different thoughts on Bradshaw and Roethlisberger I feel very strongly that if Roethlisberger would have played with that team they might have won five or six Super Bowls in the 70s that's just my opinion though it don't matter now let's kick let's get into the game we got Cleveland Browns coming into Heinz Field a game that don't mean shit. Pittsburgh will be playing with backups. We've already seen Ben and I think Bell Brown, uh, some other some other guys that are banged up. Hopefully they'll get the rest. And some of the guys that don't get to play uh, will get a chance to go out and play, make a name for themselves. Um, and even with our backups, I feel very confident that Pittsburgh gets an, a win against Cleveland at home. Uh, you know, there's really not much to talk about in this game. Uh, I just like to see the Steelers wrap it up, finish 11 and five, and uh, you know, I, I'm like a lot of other Steeler fans. Um, when it comes to the first round of the playoffs, I would love to play the Miami Dolphins. Um, I, I just think I would just love to see Miami come into Pittsburgh because they would freeze their. We ain't playing down South Beach House. I would just love. To see Miami coming to Pittsburgh. I just want to see that. And I don't want to hear no fucking excuses about Ryan Tannehill uh, not being in the game neither. Okay? Because I'm sure I'm, whatever he's doing. Because Ryan Tannehill is not what beat the Steelers. The Steelers' defense is what beat the Steelers. And that's a fact. You can go look it up. And if you, if you think otherwise, I mean, I, I respect your opinion. But, uh... You must be sucking on stupid or something. I don't know, but that's who I want to play in the playoffs is the Miami Dolphins. But talking about the Browns, 
It's the Browns. What do you prepare for? Uh, it's kind of hard to prepare for garbage. That's what the Cleveland Browns are. I think Pittsburgh can win this game by just kicking field goals, dog. Maybe get one, two touchdown. Maybe one touchdown, a bunch of field goals. This will win. Uh, pathetic franchise, pathetic fan base. Always heard all these years about how loyal the Cleveland Brown fans were. By week eight of this year, their stadium was empty. They were selling tickets for a dollar, and you could go get a free Cleveland Brown ticket up at the Flying J. That's just what it is. It's the truth. So don't get on here talking about uh, y'all the most loyal fans because no matter what our record is, guess what, hoes? We filling up our stadium because we got some of the most fuck it. We got the most loyal fans in the league. Deal with it. But we coming in. I mean, we're going to beat the Browns. Like I said, I, I wasn't even going to make this video. Um, but I just felt like I needed to address a few things. Um... I'm ready for the playoffs. I'm ready for some real football to pop off. Uh, and, I, you know, but it, it's the Browns. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot uh, here to talk about. Um, but, as always, shout out to the, uh, shout out to the family. Shout out to the, the fucking family. All right, fan point well. Keep your head up. Shout out to you, man. Mac, a renegade, still 58, still everything, still everything, man. Just shout out to all of y'all. Uh, let's go get this W Sunday and uh, then get ready for the playoffs. Uh, I do really do. I'm really, really confident in this team, and I think we can make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, but I'm out. Uh, y'all have a happy new year. Be safe. And smoke something, man. Drink something, whatever you do. East up, I'm out.